Hello everyone, my name is John Baldwin, I'm 25 years old currently, and uh, I feel like it's time that I had told my testimony. Cut and dry. So basically, um, my dad, he was a Baptist, my mom was a Catholic, and my dad was a heavy alcoholic, and he cursed uh, a lot. He uh, called us, whenever we were little children, he called us little SHITs. And so I was cursed from the time I was born until the time I grew up. Um, shortly after I graduated high school, uh, at the age of 18, I went into the military, the U.S. Navy. And from there, I went over to uh, my station in the USS John C. Stennis. I was in the military for five years. Um, I got baptized between the 10th and 11th grade years of my life uh, around uh, 2001 to 2002 something around there and uh, I thought I was saved because I got baptized in water All right, but uh, I was a go I did the sinner's prayer thing and um, I uh, I still continued to sin, and I believed in once saved, always saved, because there was no other way I could believe, because uh, it wasn't possible to not be always saved uh, once I got water baptized, because I was a goat, okay? And so uh, I went eventually into the military. A few years later into it, I uh, started to develop the same... Uh, habits as my dad did. I started to get into heavy drinking. Um, I never sweared, but um, I became really angry. And uh, eventually I, I started taking uh, steroids because I was into working out a lot. And so uh, I became, uh, I was originally a goody goody two shoes um, uh, mama's boy. And uh, I was very implosive and uh, I became explosive from the steroid intake and um, eventually I came to a, a part of my life I drank so much that I ended up in, in Alcoholics Anonymous rehab and um, I was to the point of I was always afraid of actually going to prison for literally uh, murdering someone uh, that's how much uh, anger I was holding in my heart and one day, uh, in the beginning of the year, my pastor, he was saying, are you saved? And I thought I was. And I said, yeah, I'm saved. And then he asked, well, are you surrendered? And I was like, surrendered? What's that? Right? And uh, he explained it a bit. And I was like, I said to myself, I'm not going to surrender to anyone. I'm a man. I'm not surrendering to anyone. Uh, and I, I had built up this huge defensive wall because I... I I, I was so angry, and what happened was most of my anger was traced to my father, uh, how he was verbally abusive. Um, there is different types of abuse. Verbal abuse, where you curse your kids from the time that they're babies up until the time they leave, it is abuse. And uh, the Bible does say that your tongue has life and death in it. And so um, what happened was I became like my father, and uh, I was a very angry person and uh, I had an idol the idol was uh, wanting to get married uh, I did not want to give that up but um, my true conversion day it can you can find it on staying virgin uh, that video is the day of my true conversion what had happened was two days prior to that um, I told God you know what God I hate you I told God I hate him because he did not give me a wife, right? And that was that was my idol. And uh, I thought God left me. And so I started crying, and I was like, Oh, God left me. Oh, God. And, uh, you know, the next day, if I were to ever commit suicide, that would be the day. I felt miserable. I felt God left me because I told him I hated him. But what had happened was my heart became so hard that by saying, I hate you, it finally, that's what it took to break open my heart so God could uh, put it into the refiner's fire 
and the dross would come up and he would scoop it. So two days later, I'm on my knees and I say, Lord, uh, I surrender my love life to you. And I told myself over and over again, but do I mean it? If I mean it, then that means I'm going to have to go without a wife for yada yada so on and I'll always have to be alone and I'm all crying because I don't want to be alone the rest of my life. I want a wife and kids. And I said, yes, I surrender. And at that moment, I felt felt this warm flood, warm flood of pure joy and peace come over me. And all of a sudden, I was like, I was just filled with joy. It felt as if God ripped out all the anger and hatred and everything else with it. And and that was my day of Pentecost. I got Holy Spirit baptized that day. And so uh, I threw away all of my pornography. I threw away all my my magazine calendar. And um, I, I was so like... God is real, and, and I was just filled with joy. And I made that video called uh, now called "Staying Virgin." And uh, later on, um, uh, uh, it's been some time. Uh, I finally went into street preaching, and I've been doing street preaching for an entire year as of now. And uh, the Lord has been working in my life, the sanctification process, and now I am finally an overcomer of sin. I've read the entire Bible cover to cover in just a year because I never read the Bible before. Um, in 2009 I started and I finished the entire Bible, uh, which doesn't mean anything, it's just, but it's just a part of my testimony. Look what the Lord brought me out of and look where I am now. And um, the Lord continues to do a working in my life. As I say, I can speak in tongues. I am filled with the Spirit. I've been water baptized again after I became a, a sheep. And uh, I thank the Lord every day for His infinite grace and mercy that He showed to me. Uh, a very angry and murderous person at the heart. And the Lord saved me. The Lord saved me. On February the 16th of 2008, the Lord changed a sinner into a saint. And the Lord has purified me, and uh, I continue to work out my salvation with fear and trembling. Because uh, I no longer believe in once saved, always saved. Because it's not the truth. Uh, if you believe it, I would question your salvation. Because I believed it when I was a goat. And now that I've come to a knowledge of truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins, but a fearful looking for of judgment, fiery indignation that will devour the adversaries. So, uh, repent <laughs> by surrendering your life to Christ Jesus and believe what he did for you on the cross. And so, and you will be saved. So, God bless you. Uh, I thank you for listening. Uh, and uh, you have a great day. God be with you. And Christ Jesus bless you. Hallelujah. Bye.